I'm going to tell you a story called The Detective Dog by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Sarah Ogilvy. Have a look at the cover. We're introduced to the detective dog and everyone seems to be running after and surprised. Let's see why. As soon as we start the story, we hear that the detective dog is called Nell and it's a she dog and she lives with Peter and Peter as you can see is not very organized he often misplaces and loses his objects like his balls his teddy bear, his socks. But he has no problem because Nell, the detective dog, always finds what he loses. So from Monday, not from Monday, from Tuesday to Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Nell is a detective. But on Mondays, Nell goes to school because her favorite activity is listen to stories read and told by children. So can you see Nell in the classroom? This is the teacher, Mr. Jones. Where is Peter? Can we see Peter? I can't see Peter. Yeah, I think it's here. Here's Peter. Yeah, and that's Nell. Yeah, reading a story with his child. So every Monday he goes to school and listens to stories. Different stories and different storytellers. But one Monday, Nell smelled something wrong. And when they enter the classroom, something wrong happened. Look. What can you see? What is wrong? The teacher is desperate. All the children are really sad why what happened what happened is that all the books were gone they disappeared look what's that Nell got really angry and growled but after growling and being angry. She started working. She sniffed the place, found the cap, and immediately rushed out to find the solution. So Nell didn't stop crying as a victim. She was active and she rushed out and walked or run through the, 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 um, the zoo and through the restaurant until they found a gate. They opened the gate. Yeah, everybody came along, all the children and the teacher. And look what they found. Yeah, this is what they found. They were angry. And what they said, what do you think they said? They said, those are our books. Give them back. And this guy called Ted said, I'm sorry, 
Stealing is wrong, but I just meant to borrow. I was planning to give all the books back tomorrow. Borrow? Tomorrow? Nell pricked an ear and had an idea. Borrow? Where do we borrow books? And so they rushed again and ran everybody, the children, Ted and the teacher, until they get to a library. And look at Ted's face and amazement when he sees all these books that he can borrow for free. So there's no need to get them and steal them because you can get them for free in a library. And this is what happens from then on. Ted reads his books for free from the library and all the children go back to their schools and their libraries and all the stories are there the old stories about princes and castles and dragons and new stories because children are writing the new story what's the name of the new story the detective dog so Nell is really happy because there's going to be a new story the story of daring detective dog Nell and this is the end of the story the detective dog by Junior Donaldson. I hope you like the story.